አቦ አቦ ሰላምትና ጠይና ይስጥልኝ እኔ ራስ የዲኖስ ተፈሪ ነኝ greeting this is when the yarden rasai donors um this is a very special season um a special time for many different um reasons um one it's the the, the shabbat is the is the eve of the sabbath this is friday september 9th and most of our people know that well september 11th before 2000 and even now but before 2000 september 11th usually the ethiopian new year is september 11th now one thing that you might not have known is that every roughly every um fourth year every fourth year what we call every year of 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 uh uh kedus uh, yohannes at the end of kedus lukas when galawi and the beginning which begins the kedus yohannes when galawi in other words let me let me list this out right here we have four gospels right four gospels or what's known as four gospels and this is from a ethiopic this is from the inner african and the black what we can call the black um christianity or christianity as seen from both the true way but the ancient black way preserved by the ethiopians we have four years right let's do this like this we have um Matthew right we have Mark we have Luke and then we have John right so we have these four 1 2 3 4 and every fourth year right every fourth year is what ones can call um a leap year to a degree but really on that fourth year it doesn't begin on September 11th now September first of all 11th is and usually is known as Ethiopia's is the Ethiopian New Year right September 11th usually is the Ethiopian New Year but what we want to inform ones from the very get go especially this year as um this year is the 10th what they call the 10th anniversary of the events of um of the events of 9/11 that this September 11th is the eve of the new year and not as usual the new year for we as Ethiopian Hebrews or Hebraic Christian so us as Hebraic Christianos you know saying or or Hebraic Christians it is not the new year this September 11th for us so you might hear some that will say September 11th Ethiopian New Year and we have said that often however especially for 9/11 when 9 the event of 9/11 happened that was a an Ethiopian New Year so that was a holy time a holy year but the almighty has has done something wonderful for us now that we're in the 9/11 plus 10 and stay tuned we have a special message on 9/11 plus 10 so stay tuned for that but first we want to touch on the fact that this year it is not September 11th that is the Ethiopian New Year for um 2011 however it is the 12th and this is interesting as we're going into 20 2012 but it's September 12th not September 11th you understand and this is the year of John we're entering into what we know as the year of John so each of the each year from a Ethiopian to Wahido rit it um hymenot from the true faith from the Ethiopian ones may call it orthodox but in truth is the rit it hymenot is the correct or the true faith from a Ethiopic conception not using or not bowing to the so-called Greek 
you understand, orthodox. The word orthodox means something different than the rit or the ritua hymenote in gus. In other words, we have our own way to say orthodox. And it's very important for us as Ethiopians to stop using these loan words when we have our own Ethiopic terminologies or Amharic terminologies that convey a far richer, a far more grounded, and a balanced meaning for us. See, see the word, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. There's something very important to that. So if we are using foreign words and ideas to express that which we can also articulate in our own way from our own roots, you see, this is something very, very is very much a key. There's a um, there's a scripture which okay. Well, uh, well, that scripture I'm thinking about the point about healing Babylon, about how Babylon is not healed and how we would have healed Babylon. Because see, there's a lot of lost sheep. You understand? And we talk about so-called black folks. You understand? Who who are trying to save this so-called sinking Titanic that we know as Babylon? You understand? Or the USA, USA, so forth and so on. The scriptures has something very interesting to say about that, and we're going to leave that off for the next, hopefully the next um, video that we're going to work on. But we said first we want to work on this particular one concerning the Ethiopian New Year and to explain as brief as possible that each four years, every four year, is named after one of the Wengelawit, you understand, one of the evangelists. For example, this year, as we're ending this year, you know, saying this this Ethiopian from not from from not the Gregorian, but from the so-called they call it the so-called Julian, but from the Ethiopic calendar approach, we're in the year of Luke. We're ending the year of Luke the physician right now, as and, and the year ends actually on September 11th. Actually, is the eve of the Ethiopian New Year. This particular year, 2011, this particular year is the Eve. Usually for these three years, you understand when it's, when it's the year of Matthew, Mateos, the year of Mark, Marcos, the year of Luke, Lucas, it is September 11th, even from the Gregorian um, perspective, is a new year. However, for 2011, the particular year we are in right now and the particular time that we're in going from Luke to John, in other words, we're entering into, in other words, 2012 is a Johannes year, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a Johannes, is a John year, and there's something very, very important because His Imperial Majesty, uh, the Son of Man, was born also in a John year. For the record, I think I was also born in a John year, but it doesn't mean if you was born in another year, there is no significance to your birth. I just want to want one to understand that. But um, there are certain significances to these four Gospels and the fact that according to the Ethiopic calendar, you understand, these four Gospels, it's interesting because it says that each of these four Gospels is like we're in Revelation and where in um, the scriptures, um, the prophetic scriptures, it speaks about the Ancient of Days. And in the book of Daniel as well, the Ancient of Days. And the Ancient of Days, it was seen these, uh, also Ezekiel speaks about this. When, when, when God or the Son of Man is seen, there are these four so-called signs. Now, each one of these, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, have corresponding, you understand, have corresponding, um, we can say, signs that equate and equal those so-called four, those four corners. In other words, when we, when we square it off, okay, we, we, we have to do this a little bit, a little bit later right here. This thing is, this thing has gone out on us. Well, okay, we have more, so, so we'll try to replace that. But the main thing, about this particular, the main thing about this particular update is to um, is to establish the fact that this year, September 11th, is the eve for us. This year, 2011, moving from a Johannes year to 
a, a, a John, a, a Luke year to a John year, in other words, the four, the four corners right here. And there's much to be said about these particular four, these particular four um, Gospels. Um, some say this signifies, you know, the, the, the whole four cardinal, the four cardinal points of the zodiac or the zodiac. Now that's, that's a little bit, that's another teaching, another lesson. The main lesson in this lesson, the main teaching and update in this update is that this year, 2011, it is September 12th. September 12th, 2011 is Ethiopia New Year, not September 11th. That is the main and the primary point about this particular update as we are right now is September 9th. We're in September 9th. And it's interesting because um, if we look at it from an Ethiopic calendar, this particular September uh, 9th right here, this is the eve of the Shabbat, the Senbet. So, of course, Senbet, Salam, Shabbat, Shalom. Stay tuned for our um, Torah portion reading and the feeding. But it is Yek Dusan and Na Yek Dusat Hulu Metasebia. So of the Holy Ones, this, this time right now, you know, in the eve of the Shabbat or the Senbet is called the of the Holy Ones and 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 all of the Holy Ones. You understand? This is a memorial. This is a this is known from a, a strictly Ethiopic Christian uh, perspective, and we're looking at right now here on the screen the um, Ameta Meheret, the website. For Nabura in um, Ethiopia, in the Kingdom of God, our brother, um, the Nabura, the Nabura in Aramias, you know, and his particular site, his particular work, some very, very important work um, for us to check out. Um, but that's a little bit, I want to say deeper, but that's that's another another aspect right there. So just try to try to recognize this for this year that this year, September 11th, is not the new year. The new year is actually in September. It will be on the next day, September 12th. So for Ethiopia New Year, this year is September 12th, 2011, and it will be a year of John. It will be known as a year of John. We're in the year of Luke. You understand? And these four Gospels, like the four cardinal points, you understand, and those particular um, signs that are associated with those particular signs that are associated with, like, the eagle, the man, the, you, you, you know what I'm talking about right there, which come out of, um, actually, the ancient Egypt, the root of that, a lot of that is the ancient Egypt. So, for right now, my brothers and sisters, September 11th, this year, being a leap year, you know what I'm saying? Every four years or so, the leap year, every year, four years, uh, that year of John, and usually the year of John, it is September 12th, you know what I'm saying, and not September 11th, especially for this year. Sometimes it can be a little um, calculating the heavens, you know what I'm saying, is a science in itself. So this is a basic overview with what the science is. But for this particular year, this is the absolute accurate truth that it's not September 11th. But there's a special message, as we said for September 11th that we have to share, you understand, and we're going to try to get it out, y'all willing, as soon as possible. So, Shalom, Ras Teferine, Ras Yadinos Teferine. I am Wendem Yadin reporting for Ethiopian World Network.